This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will provide you with tips and tricks to search, read and understand a research paper. You would require to read a research paper either when you are performing a literature survey to understand or to identify what has been the developments in a certain domain, say like machine learning or for a certain task like question answering in NLP. Right? So then you need to look at lot of research papers or you want to keep up with the latest developments in this particular field of AI or machine learning or NLP or computer vision, you would need to read research papers. And research papers are a concise, um, what you call, you have concise knowledge in a research paper, right? So how do you read a research paper? So the method I used to follow is that I look at the abstract of a paper first to understand which is the area what are the results achieved, right? What does this paper talk about? I take this example of BERT. So they talk about some language representations over here and they say that it is bi-directional uh, and it also, you know, uh, does uh, for very various range of tasks, it works out. So I try to understand that, okay? Then what I do in this first pass is that I actually look at the introduction and I try to identify what do I know and what I, do not know over here like what are the terms which i have not understood what are the concepts which i have not understood and then i try to make a list of you know these concepts okay not just in the introduction section but i also look at what is the contribution then i look at related work all the sections of the paper and i try to identify the concepts and then if possible i try to get a high level intuition of the paper right if not i go back to understanding these different concepts okay for example in this case what is the transformer model so here there is a reference right so i search for that uh, paper and then i try to look at that paper to understand what is a transformer model okay because that is core to this paper right then i try to understand like what are the new terms which i have mentioned over here like mask language model next sentence prediction task okay what is fine tuning what is pre training Right. I, I try to understand these keywords. Okay. Once I've understood these keywords, I come back to the paper and then I start looking into detail as what is the co contribution over here. For example, they talk about a specific arch architecture called BERT. Right. So I go to that particular section and then I try to understand the different aspects like what is the model architecture. Uh, you know, how, how do you give input? How do you get output? And uh, you know, what is done over here in training of the model? How, how do you do fine tuning? What are the different data sets, right? What kind of results are obtained over here? The tables, which talks about these re results. I try to understand that. Okay. Then I create an intuition and I note down an understanding of this particular paper. Now I have a choice whether I want to go further and understand more about this paper. Okay, look at the conclusions, look at the appendices or try to understand more or this level of understanding is enough. If this level of understanding is not enough, then I try to actually go for further iterations of the paper. So sometimes some research papers are easily understood because it is well written. Some papers are complexly written, then it becomes really difficult to understand it and it will take more time. So it again depends on each individual how much time needs to be spent in reading and understanding a paper. So I was looking for if is there a formal method or somebody has written something about this in a formal manner. Then I got to know about this article, which um, typically tells the same process. Uh, the author over here talks about a three pass approach, right? A first pass approach, as I told about, um, you know, trying to understand what is the category, context, correctness, contributions, clarity, right? It's like a skimming of the title, abstract and introduction. The second pass is looking at more detail. Right. That's what is mentioned over here. And the third pass is like, if you want to review the paper, if you want to implement the paper, that is what is written over here. Sometimes you might take more than three passes, less than three passes. It again depends on the individual. Okay. So I will put uh, uh, this link in the description of the video. You can also read through this paper to understand how to read and understand a research paper. Okay. Now, how about resources for research papers? So one of the resources is Google Scholar, okay, where you can put your keywords over here and based on the keywords, you get good results. So the art over here is in getting keywords. For example, survey of transformers, if you put, 
you know transformers are present in other domains also right your transformer you have this uh, in el electric transformer right so you might get some other uh, this thing okay stray load loss valuation in it so you need to put the appropriate field for example natural language processing right it kind of gives you so it's a survey of transformers in natural language processing even then you see something like computational visual media coming up a little bit of background is required for you to actually search and find out you know uh, what are good for so here you get, uh, get this uh, literature review on bi-directional encoder representations from transformers okay so in this way this is a good tool another good tool is arxiv where you can go and search for your paper or area or domain right and papers with code okay papers with code is very good uh, because paperswithcode.com everything is organized over here in terms of methods okay so you have these various domains and under each domain you can actually go and search for your particular uh, area of interest for example or your requirement for example you want a history of convolution neural networks probably you can come over here under computer vision and you know uh, go under this convolution neural networks and then you can see whether there is a survey paper or you can go to uh, google scholar and come back from the terms over there and search over here and then try to understand these different papers okay you can actually download these papers and understand here you also have browse state of the art uh, so where you can see again the same uh, areas and you can browse for these papers okay another uh, good resource for uh, you know these papers or these developments to keep up with latest developments is you have these uh, blogs from the companies itself for example google has this google ai blog where you have the latest from google research where you have these blogs and in these blogs sometimes you have these papers which have been published which you can search for okay which you can download and which you can read okay similarly meta has their research ai advances so they have their publications amazon has salesforce has so depending upon the domain and the companies who are in actively involved in research in these areas you can actually look at their uh, blogs and then find uh, papers from there. Uh, typically, these blogs also have some kind of summary on this uh, research work. And for details, you can refer to the papers. I hope this video on how to read and understand a research paper, how to search for a research paper is useful for you. If you like the content, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.